It's me, Vicky, again. So, yo, Vicky, otra vez. Um, here I am, filling in those gaps in the uh, Break the Language Barrier Level 1 book. And in el video de hoy, in today's video, we're going to be on page 22, Pacina 22 de este libro. Now, if you don't have this book, um, you can order it on any Amazon site or through me, through the website. You don't need the book to get something out of the video. Um, if you know anything about the verb ser, we're looking at conversation translation. Uh, the, in the book or uh, if you're studying Spanish with me you will have been given um, a translation, a conversation to translate into Spanish that predominantly uses, makes use of the verb ser because that's where we are at the moment looking at the verb ser in this book. If you don't know anything about ser or estar you should really look at my other videos, go back to the beginning and, you know, uh, my method, it's progressive. So uh, if you haven't done any Spanish, this video, if you don't know anything about ser or estar, or ser for this particular video, really you probably need to look at the earlier videos because here I think we're on video 12. So there's another 11 videos before to look at, perhaps before you get to this point. So I say you don't desperately need the book but you may want the book to use it as a, you know, a study aid if you're not able to come for classes or do Zoom classes. Uh, remember, I'm always available for Zoom classes, so if you decide that you perhaps would like the benefit of a class rather than just books and videos, please contact me and we can talk about that. Anyway, as usual, as you'll read, if, you're first, if it's your first time here, you will soon learn that I do waffle on a bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have a conversation between John and Maria. And they, the conversation was, first of all, in English here in the book. And my students, or you, had to put it into Spanish. So I'm going to read out the sentence in English and then uh, tell you what you should have. Now, there are always slight variations. If you have something different, you think, oh, why is mine not correct? It may be correct. It might just be a slightly different way of saying things. If you have the book, the answers are always in the book. But I do try and put, um, you know, some different possibilities, but I don't always think of everything. So, yeah, if you're not sure, ask me in comments or send me an email or a message. Say to me, hey, I had this, you know, or I may have done it wrong. You know, there are a couple of mistakes here and there. Anyone who learns Spanish with me will know that I am not perfect, unfortunately. But um, so, yeah, feel free to query any answer that you come up with. OK, so we've got John and Maria. John says, hello, I am, I've put one, but it should be John. I am uh, John. Who are you? And so in Spanish, we would say, hola. Soy John. Yeah, we'd use this verb say, soy John. ¿Quién eres? Who are you? Now, you could say, ¿Quién eres tú? But we don't need the tú because eres is enough on itself. Hola, soy John. ¿Quién eres? And Maria replies, I am Maria. Are you a Spanish student? So, that would be, soy Maria. I am Maria. Are you a Spanish student? Eres estudiante de español? Now notice we don't need to say un estudiante de español, just estudiante. Um, the other thing I just want to point out there is if, remember this is the exercises we're doing and we're doing them Correctly, but if you were actually speaking to someone and you said, oh, soy un estudiante de español, instead of just soy estudiante de español, it really wouldn't matter. They would still understand exactly what you meant. So, soy Maria, uh, eres estudiante de español? And John says, no, I'm not a Spanish student. No soy estudiante de español. He says, I am a German student. Soy estudiante de alemán. And then he asks, and you? ¿Y tú? 
And Maria then says, I am a German student too. Now, Maria is a woman, so but she doesn't have to say estudiante de alemana because German itself is masculine. We're not talking about a German woman. You know, we're not saying she, we're not actually, she's a student of German. She's not actually a German. So she would just say, soy estudiante de alemán también. And then John asks her where she's from. De donde eres? And now this time, this is where we would need to make it feminine because she says, I am Spanish. Soy española. You know, she's applying that adjective, that description, directly to herself, and she's a woman. So, soy española de Alicante. ¿Y tú? ¿And you? And he says, soy inglés de Manchester. He's a man, so he doesn't say inglesa. I would say inglesa. And then Maria asks, who is the German teacher? Now, we don't know yet whether this teacher is a man or a woman. So when Maria says, who is the German teacher, uh, she would just say, ¿Quién es el profesor de alemán? Because we don't know if it's a man or a woman yet. And when we don't know, we, the masculine takes the precedence. And John would reply, uh, John replies, Senora Smith, Mrs. Smith. Did you remember to say Senora? Uh, now... Now we know she's a woman, okay? So when we go on to describe her, there will be feminine descriptions. So Maria says, what is she like? Como es? Now you could say, como es ella? But como es is enough because it's obvious we're talking about Senora Schmidt. And John says, she is short, blonde and very nice. Es baja? Now some of you might have corta there. Quarter is short hair, short skirt, short trousers, but short as in stature is baco for a man and baca for a woman. So, es baca, rubia y muy simpática. She's short, blonde and very nice. All A endings because she's a woman. A man would be baco, rubio y muy simpático. Okay, and then there were some questions uh, to translate into Spanish and answer. So, practice E, number one, numero uno, is John a Spanish student? We would say, es John estudiante de español? And the answer would be, no, John no es estudiante de español, John es estudiante de alemán. Número dos, is Maria a Spanish student? Es María un estudiante de español? Uh, sorry, es María estudiante de español? And we would say, no, María no es estudiante de español. María es estudiante de alemán también. Número tres, where is María from? ¿De dónde es María? And the answer would be, María es española de Alicante. Número cuatro, where is John from? ¿De dónde es John? And the answer would be, John es inglés de Manchester. Número cinco, who is the German teacher? ¿Quién es el profesor de alemán? Because we don't know yet if it's a man or a woman, so we're making it masculine. But in the answer, it would be La profesora de alemán es Señora Schmidt. Número seis. What is Mrs. Schmidt like? We can either have Como es Señora Schmidt or como es, oh no, that's the only thing we can have, como es, Senora Schmidt. Uh, número siete, who is your Spanish teacher? Sometimes my students get a bit confused with this, but this is literally asking for your Spanish teacher. So it might be me, 
uh, in which case, so, ¿Quién es tu profesora? Uh, sorry, tu profesor de español. Again, until we know if it's a man or a woman, we just leave it in the masculine. ¿Quién es tu profesor de español? Now, if you are one of my students, and you, so you would say, mi profesora de español es Vicky. Or maybe you've got a tall, dark, handsome one like Pedro Perez from uh, the, the exercise before. Uh, maybe you haven't got me. So you just say, mi profesor or profesora de español es, and whoever it is. Numero ocho, what is he or she like? You can just say, como es. You don't need any more than that. Como es. But you could say, como es él or como es ella. Uh, and your answer, of course, would depend on, on your teacher. Presumably, and hopefully, if you were describing me, you might say, Es rubia, vaca y muy simpática. <laughs> okay, numero nueve, where are you from? And that would be, de donde eres? And your answer should be, soy de, and then wherever you are from, yeah? Or you could, like I would say, I might say, soy de Manchester. I might say, soy de Inglaterra. Soy de Gran Bretaña. Or I might say, soy inglesa. You know, so there's a lot of different ways you could answer that one. Y numero diez, what are you like? Como eres or como eres tú? And your answer, of course, would depend on... Uh, what you are like. Uh, for me, I would say soy paca rubia y muy simpática, probably. Okay, Bali, so that's it for uh, this video on page uh, 22 of your Break the Language Barrier book. Uh, as I say, as always, any doubts, any queries, please ask in comments or send me a message. I hope you found the video uh, useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already and you want to, please subscribe. It's completely free. Vale, so, te veo muy pronto en el próximo video. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Y hasta entonces, until then, uh, que tu Dios vaya contigo. May your God go with you. Vale, gracias por mirar y adiós.